Well, really, it was the story that had to be told as far as I was concerned. Um, I saw Stevie Wright when I was probably 13 years of age at the steps of the Opera House in 1979, and the guy just blew me away, he took my breath away, and I was a young musician at the time. And uh, 30 years later, when I ran into him in uh, different circumstances, of course, and saw what had become of him, I really wanted to know why and what had happened. So uh, I did the research and, and the whole idea of this show pretty much sprung from that point. Stevie had moved on so quickly and she'd organised one of the local thugs just outside of the hostel to give Stevie a bit of a touch-up. Well, Stevie, he wasn't into fighting, you know, but he was way too cocky, and still is, to back down from any challenge. So he faced up to this bloke, but before he knew it, he was king hit. <laughs> one to the guts. <laughs> one more to the guts. <laughs> one to the mush. <laughs> and it was all over. I believe it's something totally different to, to anything that's been done before. It's, uh, we're calling it a, a live rockumentary because um, not only do we have the story being told and, and a bit of acting being done, but we also have uh, a great live band, uh, awesome musicians. Um, we have a multimedia component of the show, the big screen with a lot of classic old photos, old clips. And then we also have current day interviews with people who have um, had time with Stevie over the years and have a story of their own to tell and this is all intertwined and, and put into you know two and a, a two and a bit hours of um, really a, a rock and roll roller coaster ride that'll will have you up there and it'll have you down there and it'll have you singing at the top of your head um, and hopefully at the end of the show you'll be up there dancing you won't be able to you won't be able to stop yourself.
but he also had taken up a new relationship, one that would be much, much, much harder to shake than a drunken one-night stand. You see, Stevie had his first taste of heroin, and he liked it. people get out of seeing this show is if you are from that era you are just going to have all these great flashbacks and memories that will uh, make you relive probably some of your earlier years and, and will make you happy if you're if you're uh, from the younger generation it will give you a bit of a history lesson in, in some of the most important uh, periods of Australian music and Australian rock and roll and and taking it to that next level to the international level which is what the Easy Beats did and, and of course Stevie and uh, I think it'll be an eye-opener for everybody and whether you know the story or not it will um, it'll move you it will uh, engage you and I think it'll, uh, it'll it'll give you a big smile on your face too.